It's actually the Boomerang 3 phrase sampler made by Boomerang. Now I bought this, this is an early edition. I bought this one in 2007. So this pedal has changed quite a bit since then. But this is still a, nonetheless a very good phrase sampler. I like it a lot. I've kept the original box too. Today I'll be playing through my trusty little crate amplifier here. The GTX 15. Got my Raven Telecaster. This is a solid body here. Neck through the body. Very nice guitar. It's got a neat little uh, inlay right here with a Raven on it. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that closely. Real nice guitar. I put a five-way switch on it and I put a new front pickup on it. It's a, uh, it's a Fender neck pickup, which I really like a lot. It has a lot of clarity to it. And today we'll be working on the, I got it right here on my notebook. The E harmonic major. You can see that. <laughs> uh, it's a very fun scale. I, what I wrote down is what the intervals are. And I wrote down the triads that can be built from this, this simple uh, E harmonic major scale. So you ask, what is the E harmonic major scale? Well, unlike the E major scale, just your regular Do Re Mi scale, uh, this one has a few changes in it. It has the root. Second, flat third, sharp four, fifth, seventh, the major seventh, and the octave. And if we skip over every other note in this scale and come up with our triads, so in the key of A, our notes would be A, B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A, which is the octave. So I'm going to give some examples here and uh, let's see what it sounds like. A lot of different things you can do with this scale. Well, let's see what happens here. First, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Almost sounds like the major scale. Almost. sharp four in there, it changes the whole character of the sound from, say, A major scale, and sharp four, the five, and you get those, uh, kind of that Middle Eastern kind of mysterious sound. Yeah, with that F sharp there too, it sounds really good. So if we play it through the whole two octaves, and right there we have a long jump, that minor third jump right there, and up a half step. So if you get your open A droning with that,
Sounds really good. So now if we play a, the first triad would be an A, C, E, which is a, you know, A minor. So I'm going to step on my boomerang here and uh, get a little sample with an A minor and a couple of these triads. Minor, so our next triad would be B, D sharp, and F sharp. triad would be C, E, G sharp. Kind of mis mysterious sound. Alright, let's see what it sounds like on the boomerang. If I hit it right, let's see. Well, maybe it didn't work. Let's see. There we go. Let's hear the playback on it. playing in a circle. I hit a wrong note there. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, let's try the scale with it. So that, that gives us a sound of what that scale sounds like. Now it sounds a lot better when we put some overdrive to it. So let's see. Crank on some overdrive here. Get us a drum beat going.
harmonic scale, A major harmonic scale, E harmonic major scale, however you want to phrase that scale. Sounds pretty cool as you can hear by the examples there. Uh, sounds real good when you get overdrive going on it. So you can mix those patterns up, uh, play in different intervals, uh, real fun scale to play on. If you enjoyed that, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, stay tuned, there'll be more to come. Uh, had a lot of fun doing this, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you're uh, subscribed to my channel, I sure would appreciate it. Until next time, thank you again. I'm Wayne Davis, Flight of the Jam Studio. See you next time.